Hi everyone, your local hipster here, and it's time for a review of the new Square Pusher album, Be Up A Hello. Square Pusher, legendary IDM producer who has dabbled in acid techno, drill and bass. Tom Jenkinson, the person behind the Square Pusher moniker, has always been a very innovative, forward-thinking producer. With his very nocturnal new jazz drum bass combination on his debut album, or the break chord that is featured on his album Go Plastic. His most notable album, which is also his most celebrated album, is his sophomore release, Hard Normal Daddy, which the title hasn't really aged that well. But the energetic, playful sounds that are present on this album have. Now his run in the 2010s has not been the most exciting, starting in 2010 with The Demonstrator, which is probably one of the lowest points in his career. Then you at least got somewhat of a bounce back on his next album, Ufabulum, which again saw him experimenting, going outside of his comfort zone, but it wasn't as exciting or exhilarating as his previous releases. Dame Again Furries was not really another highlight in his discography, and going into this record I was hoping that either he'd go back to his roots or be a little more eccentric with his experimentation. And on Be Up A Hello, we got the former of the two. As this album showcases what Square Pusher was doing in the 2000s, experimenting with acid techno and drill and bass. There's also a little bit of glitch and break core on this record as well. And leading up to this album, we got the track Vortrack, as well as Nerve Levers. The latter of which being a whirlwind of drums and snares, along with some really watery bass lines. This song is chaotic, yet very rhythmic and somewhat easy to follow. The synthesizers on this track are larger than life, but they're hidden under the busy rush of drums and bass. It's a very cool track, one of my favorites of this year. Given these two tracks, Vortrack and Nerve Levers, the other of which I really didn't care for all that much, it didn't feel as inventive or as wild as Nerve Levers, but it was still not a bad track. Given these two tracks, I was kind of going to this record hoping for the best. And Square Pusher certainly delivers on this record, again, going back to his roots in the 2000s. You get a jazzier approach on the first two tracks, Obelove and Hinsanu. I could be pronouncing that wrong, I'm not too sure. But these songs kind of introduce us to the jazzier side of Square Pusher that we saw in the 90s. Obelove sounds a little more a beat compared to the rest of this album. You still get a very fast-paced IDM breakbeat on this track, but they are complemented with these weird horn synthesizer bass fusions. One thing that I can appreciate with Square Pusher is how layered a lot of these songs are. Even at its busiest, this song still feels like it's very melodic while also being very technical. After the jazzier introduction to this album, we then get into the core of the record, which features these very break core-esque songs. Nerve Levers, Terminal Slam, Speed Crank. Speed Crank being not one of my favorite songs on this record, it feels like it's a little too chaotic at some points. Square Pusher really evens things out on some songs like Nerve Levers as well as Terminal Slam, but Speed Crank just feels like it's a little too indulgent. Very fast paced, but it also doesn't seem to have a direction. Still not one of the worst cuts on this record. I think that actually has to go to the last track on this thing, 80 Ondula, which is probably the closest thing Square Pusher has done to a dark ambient track. But similar to Speed Crank, this song is very directionless, but it is also meandering as well. Not a lot of beats on this track, it's just this ambient piece that really leaves my head scratching on the reason why Square Pusher included it on this album. Coming on six minutes at length, this song really takes its time and is probably one of the more patience testing songs on this entire LP. Even more patience testing than the longest song on this thing, Merkrev Bass. Because this song actually has movement, it has progression. Even Detroit People Mover, which is also another spacious cut that actually has some progression and movement to it. One of the better balances of chaotic while also having a direction is the song Terminal Slam. This song actually builds into its IDM crescendo that is just a treat. 
fast-paced drum work with these very stiff synthesizers complement this entire track well. The bass on this track, as well as most of this album, still watery, very acid techno. And as a whole, I think this is one of Squarepusher's better releases in a while. Even if some of the tracks still don't excite me as much as other songs on this record, I also wish the pacing on this album was a little more apparent. But even at that, this is still a very good return to form for Squarepusher. Even if it doesn't see him being as inventive as he could be. There's some very interesting moments on this record that showcase the very chaotic, schizophrenic side to Squarepusher that I do appreciate. While not being one of his best releases in his discography, it's a high point still. So for me personally, it's a very solid B. There are really good moments on this record. However, I'm not loving, 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 loving a lot of the things that are happening on this LP. But I am curious to know what are your thoughts and opinions on this record down below. Let me know what albums you want me to review next, and that is it. Leave a like, comment, share, do whatever you want. Let me know how I can improve future videos down below. And remember, this is only my opinion because music is subjective.